Hi folks, I'm George Valentine. I'm the author of the Job Hunting Hero Method and the Job Hunting Toolkit, and I'm here to talk to you about the last of the four letters in Hero, O, for owning it. Owning it means that you take responsibility for the work that you do, the mistakes that you make, and your ability to move forward from that. It's important that you understand that because oftentimes an employer has trouble finding the right questions to ask in that. But you have to show that you are a person of, who's conscientious and honest so that the employer is comfortable in hiring you and doesn't have that buyer's remorse after hiring wishing they had done something else. Folks, keep an eye on these three things as you prepare for the interviews. First of all, describe the mistakes that you have made. Everyone makes mistakes and it takes a certain amount of humility to explain, yes, I've made mistakes and this is what I learned from. Take a moment and explain the situation and how you solved it. Second of all is what is the worst part about a job that you've had before. By expressing that, you are saying, first of all, again, humility, that you understand that there is a worst part about the job. Two, that you have the ability to rise above that and problem solve. Employers love people who problem solve and not so much the people who just complain about the problem. So if you can have both of those two, get ready for number three, the unexpected. Hyman Rickover was the father of the Na nuclear navy and he had to hire naval officers during World War II. He had to be able to tell that they would work well under pressure so he invented the stress interview. One of the things he used to do was bolt a chair down to the floor. And then as the naval officer came in, butterflies in his stomach and worried about meeting Admiral Rickover, he would have, Rickover would ask him to move the chair up to the table. And he would have to move it because it was bolted to the floor. How did that naval officer respond? Did he keep trying or did he adapt to the situation? That's what he had to see. A lot of times, one of the things that I would do is another way, is at the end of the interview, as the, employee, as the prospective employee is getting ready to go home and thinking about what they want for dinner that night, I say, excuse me, one last thing, and I hand them a test. It's not so much how they're going to pass the test, 99% of them would have passed the test. I look in their eyes and I see, are they rolling to the back of their head, or are they ready? Do they say, here, let me look at that, application, that test? and they fill it out and they hand it back, or they go, oh, a test, I was going to go home. If the person's eyes roll to the back of their head, I don't want to work with them. If they're not willing to expect the unexpected and own that, they'll leave the same as when they came, unemployed. So keep an eye on these things. Give an example or two or three of mistakes that you've made and how you've solved them. What was the worst part about a job and how you overcame that? And be prepared, be prepared for the unexpected. Please hit that subscribe button and come on back. I'd appreciate it.